Hi everyone, welcome once again to another episode of a tutorial on Galaxy Mobile Informatics. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can upload files to the Galaxy server. So first of all, you need to make sure you have logged into your account. If you don't have an account, make sure to register and then get an account. If you are new to the Galaxy platform, I encourage you to watch my introductory video where I show you how to navigate the Galaxy platform and also how to register and then get an account. So make sure you watch that video. The link is in the description box. Now let's proceed. Before we upload the data, let's first create a history. Okay, we have to create a history so that the activities we are going to do today uh, will all be associated with one history. It becomes easy to track the activities if you give them the appropriate name. So let's just create a new history. So let's just like this. And then let's edit this and then give it a name. So this is our history. Okay, so all the data that we are going to upload will be under this history. So let's just say data upload. And then we can save it. Okay, so now it's time to upload the data. So if you want to upload the data, come to the left side and then you will see this upload data here, this button here. So just click it and then you have this window coming up. For this tutorial, we are going to focus on this one here, this option here, regular. Okay, so I'll show you how to upload files using these three approaches. So the first approach here, we choose local files. I mean, we have to upload files from our PC. So here you can try with any file that you have at school. So let's do that first. So let's click on choose local files. And then you can locate a file and then you can upload. So I have some files here. I will upload them. So here you can upload one or you can also upload all the files or the selected ones. So I will upload both. And then I will open. Okay, so that's it. So there's the first approach. And so you can click on start. And then Galaxy will upload the files for you. So the progress will be shown here. So let's wait for the files to upload. So try with your own data so that you see the progress as well. Okay, so if you check the progress, it's 100%. So we can close it. And then we can check from here. If everything is successful, then we should see a green background like what has been shown with this one here. Currently, this one has also been uploaded. Okay, so we have to wait till the background is green. Then we can be 100% sure that the data has been uploaded successfully. Okay, the data has been uploaded successfully. So all of them will have a green background. So this is one way of uploading files. So here we uploaded from our local PC. Let's go back and try another approach. So let's go back to the button, the upload button here. It's green because we have some successful tax here. Okay, so let's go back there, click it. And then you may still see the records there. So if you see that, you can click on reset and then it will be cleared for you. Now let's look at the second approach. The second approach, we use remote files. Okay, so we have to download from the web. So let's try. So if you choose remote files, then you should know where the files are located in the first place. We are going to show us an example here, so that's fine. So just click on the choose remote files, and then you'll be given um, some available databases and then storage um, sites like Dropbox, EBI, FTP server, etc. 
So let's try with the EBI FTP server. So we will try some example. So you just have to click it and then you have the folders listed for you and then you can select the one that you want. So let's say thousand gene. Okay. And then you can just open any other folder here or directory and then you can select a file. Okay. So you can select a file like this and then we click on OK. You can also choose all of them. That is also fine, but that depends on you. Okay. So for now, let's just try what's just one. Let's try with just one, this one here. So just click on OK. And then you can click on Start. So this will also be uploaded for us. Or let me just say this will also be downloaded because now it's going to be downloaded straight to the Galaxy server. So we can close this and then we can check the progress on the right side here. Okay, the file is also available now. Now let's try the third approach. So let's go back to our upload data button. And then let's reset this. So we are going to click on reset. Now let's try the third one, which is space slash fetch data. So let's click it first. So when you click it, you will have this coming up. Now with the paste slash fetch, you have to supply a link, the download link to the file that you want to download to the Galaxy server. Okay. So you also have new file. So this one here is the default name. So when it has this name, that means that Galaxy will retain the original name of the file. Now let's try it. Let's Look at an example. I have these files here. These are um, from the ENA database. So we are going to get these files. So we have this ones. So this paired and reads. We have forward and reverse. So we need the download link first. So I'll leave the link to this page in the description box, by the way. So make sure you use that. So we need to get a link. So you have to right click. And then copy the link and you can also try with any other remote file that you have it doesn't have to be this particular file but anyone will also be fine but i'll still leave the link to this page anyway so right click and then copy the link and then you can come to the galaxy page here where you have this and then you paste the link like this so this link is what we need Okay, so here we are using the default name. So that means that the names here will be retained. There will be no change. Now let's try another one. You can add other ones as well. So you can click on the paste slash fetch data again. And then another entry box will be given and you can enter another URL. So that means we have two separate files here, two different files. So let's get the other file. So the second one, I'll copy the link. And then I'll come and paste here. So here, I'll do a modification here so that uh, you get to know what happens when you change the default name here. So here, instead of using the original name, I'll say RET2. Let me say RET2. So if you have this, then that means this will be the new name. And so whatever is here will be replaced with this one after Galaxy has obtained that file. So let's run this to also get the files. So we we'll click on start. And then Galaxy will work on it for us. So you can also check from the right side what is happening. So let's 
close this now so everything is being um, obtained for us so let's wait okay the files have been successfully fetched so we have them here okay so these are the three approaches now let's go back to the upload data our resets again what we did was to look at each of these approaches okay so you can also combine all these approaches into one so let's just try again let's go to choose local files and then i'll choose a different file here okay so this time i'll choose this file here this speed quantics.fastA file here so i'll just open it and then i'll maintain the name here too you can rename but i'll maintain the name now let's add the other approach so choose remote files this one here we can click it and then let's select another file here let's take this one okay now let's try the third one which is paste slash fetch data and then we can add another file here this time let's still use this link the same link copy link and then we'll use the default name like this so now we have combined both approaches here so that is also possible okay and then we can start So you can see the progress and then you can close and then check whatever is happening here. The background is great. That means that the jobs are queued. Okay, now you can see that one of them is running now. We can also see this. And I think the third one will also run very soon. okay so we see that two of the files have been successfully fetched for us and the third one is still in queue so we just have to wait sometimes it happens so just be patient and then wait for galaxy to complete the task okay so we see that the third one is also uh, being fetched for us okay that has also been done so we are good to go so that's about it so we can go back to our upload data and we can reset everything and then close it so that's about it so uh this is how we upload data to the galaxy server using the regular option here so i also try to make other tutorials where i focus on these other ones and i will do that and then I put in the analysis for bioinformatics lately so make sure to come back and watch those as well so that's about it if you also want to learn how to download the data from the glassy platform especially if you have several output files then you can check this video here and there's also this playlist which has more tutorials on galaxy for bioinformatics